welcoming our next guest, Lynn Strong Shinasaki. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. So Lynn's love for community service began when she was a young Girl Scout growing up outside Philadelphia. And her love for Old Devil Island started after she enrolled in Parsons School of Design, where she interned for a design company off 59th Street. She said she'd walk down the block and take the tram, and she still thinks to this day that it's spectacular. She currently resides in Roosevelt Island, and after college, she promised herself that if she ever ended up in New York City, she'd live in Roosevelt Island. Years later, she kept that promise to herself. Welcome again, Lynn. Thank you, thank you. How are I, you? <laughs> I consider myself so fortunate because Roosevelt Island is this little gem in the middle of the East River that I bet some of the people who are watching this may not have ever gone to. There's a spectacular tram ride over. There's some beautiful vistas. There's a meditation steps where you can watch the sunset. It's it's almost like a, a watching a view of something. It's just such a wonderful gem in the East River, and I've enjoyed living there. I originally moved there thinking, I want to live one place for three years. 25 years later, <laughs> I've been trying to make Roosevelt Island the best neighborhood in New York City, and that's my goal. <laughs> Is this why you ended up at the community board? It is. It is. I wanted to have an impact on the decisions that are over Roosevelt Island, and the community board is one of those places where you can have an impact. So far, what have you been your impressions as a community board member? It took a little bit getting used to because there's 50 members of the community board, and it's kind of learning about where they live, what their interests are, how my interests are in align with who. And, and I, I actually did some um, housing advocacy a few years ago, mm -hmm. and I saw some of my housing advocates as part of the community board, so that made Very it nice. feel a little more homey for me. <laughs> That's always nice. What other committees within the board have you joined? So obviously I'm on the Roosevelt Island Committee, mm -hmm. and I'm getting my feet wet. I've been visiting some of the other um, committees, and there's a couple that I'm interested in, but I haven't made that final decision or, or commitment to the committees. Sure. I've just been kind of going to different ones to see what it's like. That's a good way, I think, to decide where um, you're most fit in, in the community board. Besides your love for Roosevelt Island, which three years turned into 25, <laughs> <laughs> what other desires do you have and wish to serve as part of the community board? Well, I know one of the big issues right now with the community board is getting back the what was privatized, what has become privatized sure. space under the 59th Street Bridge. There's so very few places that are community, particularly in Manhattan, that I really think that that's something that's worth working on so that more people from the community can engage in community spaces. And so that's one of the things that's caught my eye in stepping into this vista of the community board. As someone who lives on the island, uh, there's been many projects that have sort of sprouted in the last couple of years on Rolls of the Island. And how does the community feel about these new endeavors and you as an advocate and as a representative of Rolls of the Island at Community Board 8, how do you feel that you can translate these concerns and to the board. Two of those projects um, just recently completed was Four Freedoms Park. Mm -hmm. I, I loved that the Roosevelt Island was built with the intention of using some of Roosevelt's ideas and beliefs. It's an extremely mixed community, and to be able to honor him with that beautiful uh, monument, I think, and, and the views there are spectacular. I think it's going to be interesting to see how the community and how Cornell um, meshes in with the community. Yeah. Um, we are being a part of some of the changes that are going on with 
uh, the building, the buildings are beautiful. The campus looks like it's going to be gorgeous. But what's not clear is how and will they interface with the community and what the impact of having a university on such a small island, how it will impact the community. Absolutely. What other specific goals do you see yourself having um, as a member of the community board this coming year? Really learning more about how different aspects of New York work. I mean, just listening to the Transportation Committee talk about the Second Avenue subway and some of the issues that went on with that and um, trying to figure out where I, where I sit as far as some of the bike lanes and where they should be and where they shouldn't be. And I think one of the things that I would love to see is when the community board goes to street fairs for us to interact more, ask questions, maybe even interview people in the community. How do you feel about this particular idea that the community board is being faced with? How, as a community member, do you live on the Upper East Side? How do you feel about this? And have us really engage more in the community and find out and get feedback from the community members. I think that could be really interesting for us. Absolutely. So it looks like you're very vested in your community. Uh, what values do you think have come into play that you will either assert as a community member or that you bring into a community board? Well. I, I like to liken myself to the Bella Abzug School of uh, New York politics. To be straight up, to be honest, to tell people what you think you are, are good things about the environment, the community, the situation, and then to be upfront about what aren't the good things or what, what the downside may be to any conflict. And, and really being open to listen to what ideas are there, but then to sure. be really able to express my own. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today, Lynn. Thank you for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. This has been Getting to Know Your Community Board. Thanks again for joining us tonight. And keep an eye out for more meet and greets of your community board members. If you're interested in serving the community, we'd love to have you at our public meetings, which are always available on our website, cbam.com.